First, we put them on their heels, then we put them in the ground. Hello, hello, welcome to Plumeroo. As you can see, today we're making Valorant keycaps. More specifically, Deadlock. This is how the keycap should look in the end. And as you may tell, her arm thingy is the source of the inspiration for this keycap design. So after all the 3D modeling, mold making and priming, we can start with the fun part, which is painting. To be fair, I find all of the steps of the keycap making enjoyable, but I guess the painting part is the most interesting to watch so here we are now this huge magnifying glass shenanigans excuse my cell phone as i was saying this huge magnifying glass is a new thing to me i've got this in hopes you could see what i was doing there but i'm still figuring out how to position did it did not make a good job because this light is blinding me right now but hopefully i will do better next time anyway after coating the base with gray i'll be using yep you guessed it. Acrylic markers for the details. I'm sorry about the bright light again. Maybe adding this right here would help. Nope, my video is a lost case, but doing this would indeed help the channel. <laughs> I've got no shame. But it's true, it does help the channel. Uh, anyway, now you're gonna see me trying to do a black wash. I have to warn you that I'm still learning how to paint. So if you see me executing this poorly, it is what it is. Well, I gave my best. I think it's just fine. And now I'm gonna highlight everything with the silver just to give it a little shine. Now that I'm looking at this keycap, I also think I could have added some white just to accentuate the highlights. But I guess I'm gonna have to leave that for the next next keycap. Still, this one was not bad. Now for the teeny tiny 3D model skill that's going in the center, I'll be using plain white. And if you're wondering how I keep multiple parts skills, such as this one or this one, in one piece, that's because after modeling, I add support to print it all together. And since we wanted some light to go through the middle of the keycap, I'll be removing this tape. And now I can put these two parts together. For that, I'll be using transparent UV resin. And all I have to do is fill this entire ring with the resin. Make sure to do it slowly and pop all the bubbles that come out. Otherwise, you will see the bubbles when you turn your keyboard's RGB on, like so. And now comes the part where you have to center the skill in the ring. I like to start by positioning it with the tweezers and then using a toothpick to align it. And if you're like me, you'll probably be doing this for a long, long time. But once you're past that, we're almost done. After shining some UV light to keep everything in place, I'm gonna be adding some blue details for some extra character. So when the light shines through, you'll also be seeing some of the blue. I'll also be hardening everything with the UV light and done. All that's left to do is dome it with the resin of your choice. By that I mean UV or epoxy resin. Since it's a keycap, I'd suggest you to get the epoxy resin because some of them have UV protection and they don't yellow that easily. Just keep in mind you're gonna have to wait for a day or two for it to fully cure. Here is how the full set looks on the keyboard. But that's the video for today, I hope you enjoyed it and see you soon!